Welcome back, Sharks. We have an amazing show for you today. November is Diabetes Awareness Month. We're gonna hear from Ms. Tarang and meet a furry little friend. Diabetes affects nearly 1 in 10 Americans. Let's learn a little more about this. I'm Sienna Irwin, I have type 1 diabetes, and I was 10 years old when I was diagnosed. Hi, my name's Sierra. I was diagnosed at 15 months old with type 1 diabetes. Hi, my name's Dylan. I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at 8 and a half years old. Can you explain the difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes? Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease. It's something you get hereditary, it's passed down to you. Type 2 happens because of certain changes in diet that make you develop it over time. How does your life differ from someone who doesn't have diabetes? I have to worry about what I eat every day. Um, I have to know what the carbs are, I have to look up the carbs. It really just means you're more aware of yourself and there's a few extra precautions in your day you have to take, but aside from that we have a normal life. For the most part, you can eat and do anything else that most people then do. You just have to do extra things to uh, make sure that you keep your blood sugars where they're supposed to be. What would the warning signs be to someone who might be developing diabetes? Well, for me personally, I was losing a lot of weight. I was hungry. I was thirsty. You have to pee a lot. You get really, really thirsty because uh, that's your body's natural way of releasing sugars from the bloodstream. So you'll want to be doing that a lot. Is it more common to be diagnosed with a certain type of diabetes? No, it's not necessarily more common. It depends kind of on your age and what your life is like. So if you were older, it'd probably be type 2 from diet and lifestyle. But if you're younger, it's most likely you're going to be type 1. I would say type 1 is rare compared to type 2 just because it's hereditary and it's it's not a choice, like you don't, you get it, you get it. Um, type two, you can manage it. How do you foresee diabetes affecting your life in the future? I see it affecting my life with helping me. I know I'm more responsible because of it. I'll probably be able to help others because of it. You have to manage it every day, every time you wake up, pretty much all around the clock, never stops. Our arts program offers a variety of rewarding opportunities. Let's catch up with our newest art teacher, Mrs. Terang. Hey, welcome back, Sharks. We're here to interview our new art teacher, Ms. Terang, so let's get a closer look. Hey, Ms. Terang. Hi. Nice to meet you. Thank you. So what influenced you to pursue a career in art? Um, ever since I was really little, I loved just doodling and coloring and drawing. And so I just always had an interest in it. And then in high school, I was able to take several art classes and had a really great teacher. All right, so of all the pieces that like you or any student created, what's your favorite one? Um, something that I did, I'll show you. Um, it's one that I did in high school. So it was my first time using airbrush and color pencil. And so this is one of the pieces I did when I was 15. And so I'm pretty proud of that, but um, really I love doing work that is about my family um, because I have an awesome family, and so I love creating work about them as well. Talking about like art, how do you think that has like shaped into the person you are today? Um, well, art is really about communication, and it's about sharing your experiences and your interests in, and getting to tell your story in a creative way. So that's something that I try to also instill in my students is take something that you've experienced and make it personal and share your story through art and be creative with it, and it's fun. So be a shark is like a huge thing here at Sanyo. What do you think to be a shark means? Um, I think being a shark means that you're fierce. Sharks are fierce, they're fearless. And I think when you know yourself, you know who you are, um, you believe in yourself, you've worked hard to accomplish whatever it is that you want to accomplish, then you can be fierce and you can be fearless in the world. And I think that's what sharks are. All right, well, thank you for allowing us to interview. It was an honor to interview you. I thank think you, you, you like have a great time here, Sonia. I appreciate it, thank you. Has the time change got you a little blue? Let's meet a unique friend that'll get you through. This is Daisy. She is an emotional support dog here at Santiago.
Daisy enjoys coming into classrooms to visit students all over campus, and no other school in CNUSD has a dog like her. Anytime you see Daisy, come over and say hello to her and her owner, Mrs. Sullivan. One thing Daisy doesn't enjoy is walking through trash while she's on duty. So Sharks, please remember to keep Santiago clean, do your part, and pick up your trash at lunch. Now it's time for some extra announcements. Link Rose a fundraiser tonight at Chick-fil-A from 2 to 8 p.m. Bring your friends and family. Boys swimming tryouts are Thursday, December 5th at 3 p.m. at the pool. Bring proof of your athletic clearance. Baseball tryouts are November 18th through the 21st from 3 to 5. You must be cleared at the athletic department in order to try out. Any questions, see Coach D in room K104. Hey freshmen, do you need some extra help in your classes? Have no fear, Link Crew is here. Stop by D203 on Thursday during office hours for some extra tutoring. See you there. From all of us here at Shark TV, we thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy your break and we'll see you here in December. Please don't cry when I come back, you know the limit.